Part of 63rd Street near Brookside may be buzzing with some new businesses, but a new study calls it blighted. This afternoon, the Kansas City Planning and Zoning Committee just passed a new plan to help boost the other buildings that line that busy road. 41 Action News anchor Lindsay Shively shows us what the people pushing the plan want to do. The hope is that making this stretch of 63rd Street eligible for tax incentives will spur development and fill up those for lease signs that you see. But there's also been a big influx of brand new businesses. This one just opened this week. We're almost ready. Five years ago, nobody would have even thought to think about this space or this whole block. But now Robin Krause couldn't think of a better place to open her un bakery. It is raw. It's in the rawest form. A little like her building used to be, raw and full of potential. It was just such a great building. She's the new kid on a block that just started bustling from a booming bakery, a new event center, new construction next door, and signs of what's coming soon. I'm really happy to see that more and more businesses are popping up around here, especially the further east we go. I see it hitting truce and spreading. But big building Things like this one still sit mostly empty. And the 63rd Street corridor has long, long been neglected and long, long been vacant. It has 65% vacancy at this point. Those vacancies are part of the reason a new study calls 63rd Street between Oak and Troost blighted, making it eligible for this tax abatement program. Butch Rigby, who owns buildings in this area, says without it, the vacancies won't go away. He's pushing for those tax incentives that would potentially freeze taxes for years after the properties are improved. Why do you need tax incentives? Can't it just happen on its own? What would you say to that? Well, when you do the new bakery at the corner, a single small building. And when I did the little uh, coffee shop across the street, it was a, you know, a 1,300 square foot building. You can do that. A single family can't come in and do a building like that. We asked Councilman Scott Taylor if the city could afford another tax incentive. There's no money coming out of the general uh, fund for this project. So if you have an old abandoned building, it's much better to have a vibrant building with people in it that are walking through the community to attract small businesses. The full city council will now have their say on 63rd Street's future. Lindsay Shively, 41 Action News.